What's up, guys? I'm your Daily Dose Joseph. I'm your host, Joseph Chase Mantondo, and welcome to Let's Go The Escape Series. This is going to be a series, and we're starting with number two because I am not smart, not. Mm, I don't know how math works. But this is a game that I used to play tons of back in the day. In fact, uh, you know, and Tony owned uh, the guy who was my editor. Well,. Well, not used to be. He's still my editor for fancy things, but he used to be my overall editor. Um, him and I used to sit on the phone for hours a day and play these games and help each other figure it out. It was so much fun. And it's kind of like this new fad that's been going around uh, the escape rooms. If you've ever... Ooh, got a watch. Latch is jammed. Watch must be open first before I can do that. We can take a coat hanger, a nondescript box. Can I look inside of it? I guess not. And this is literally it. You get to look around and figure out what's wrong and you figure out how to escape. Old Man Brown made a journey to town for his ring was askew. So they fixed it with glue. Soon to be a treasure passed down. That's interesting. Can I take the string? No? Okay. Um... But there's actually real life escape games that you can uh, play. Like my friends and I just did one at a place called the Escape Zone, some jewel heisting, and it was super cool. If you can do them, I advise it. But it was like a lifelong dream come true to me because I've been wanting to not compatible. I've ever since playing these, I've wanted forever to do more, and it's funny because. This really reminds me of Silent Hill in a funny way, uh, except just without the horror aspect. Can I get the box with the hanger? And this is this is why it's hard. It's emotionally traumatizing and degrading. They fixed it with glue. Soon be treasure passed down. So, and this is one that I've already played before. There are new ones. Oh, there we go. I got to look down. Let's check out the photograph. Look at this photograph. Okay, so there's a ring and a clock in that picture. I don't believe anything here can be random. Got, ooh, crowbar, some wire cutters, and nothing else of interest. Um, yeah, anything can mean something. And that was what was so cool to me about, there we go, wire rod. These items are not compatible. They're not compatible. Um, sure. Uh, that was what excited me so much about the uh, the whole thing at the frickin' whatever place. Uh, place we went to. Oh, I'm an idiot. Go up there. Was that there were so many things lying around that looked like they were involved, but it was also part of the design. It was just so well done. This lock cannot be picked. I really look forward to doing another one someday. Uh, they don't let you record them reasonably, but it, it's sad because I would love to do a Let's Play of it someday. Um, hmm. Okay, let's be fair. This crowbar could probably open that watch, but I'm not going to judge you. You know what's great about recording this is that you can see this little timer right here judging me. So if the timer does not match the video length then you'll know I've been cutting and that I'm an idiot small keyhole so I need to find that key hmm okay oh I'm an idiot I got to freaking open the dingy dob okay um hold up clock Set hour three three thirty five ish. Uh, that okay. Wait. Click and drag hands to set time. That's funny. There we go. Now I got a key. Thank you. See, I knew I'd get somewhere, and this is the only keyhole we've got. So it worked. Light appears to be shorted out. Can I look around anywhere? No. Pull the lever. OK. 
Okay, now let's go back in the hole. We're in a different room. I remember this. I did this much. Open it. Dear grandson, November 17th, 1987. That's your name, by the way. As I grow older in age, I feel it is time to pass on a gift long ago, gift of long ago. Just as my grandfather and his grandfather did, I give to you this heirloom of the family. Keep it close. Something in the pocket over here. It's a personal organizer, password protected cadet number two. That's interesting. Nothing inside this shirt like there was the last one. Down here we have a shoehorn. I don't know what that is. A keyhole. Let's let's just wire the F out of it. No? Cannot be picked. Does not fit. Well. Fine. Ooh, you got a note as well on the opposite wall. Young man blue. A dashing vision of new. The key to his cadet. A day he'd never forget for this game, the final clue. Okay, so Vision of New, the key to his cadet, which is this, was a day he'd never forget. So, 1117 maybe? Okay, so let's try 1117, 1987. Nineteen eighty-seven. Okay. Oh wait, clear. Eleven seventeen eighty-seven. Yes, you have to be an American to understand that. Sweet. All right, I'm getting there. I really am. Um, that's okay. Oh right, there was another box down here and it was locked. Can I? Yes, I got the ring. Give me, give me ring. Me, 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 ring. Mimi, want to ring? You let me out. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. So now I have this ring. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I was like, ooh, wiggles. But, um, so what do I just. Needs to be combined with something first. What, the shoehorn? Is the shoehorn good for anything? Um. The, wait, did that. Did that actually combine? This whole game. This whole game was run by that coat hanger. The shoehorn didn't even do anything. Well, this has been fun anyways. I've done this one before, so it's not as thrilling to me. But there are others that I haven't done that I just found out about by going on here. And I'm so excited. And I'm going to be doing more. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time for more Escape.